Y254. Imagine. How are you guys doing? Are you sanitizing? Are you taking care of yourself during this quarantine period? I hope you are because like all I keep telling you the hashtag remains we shall overcome because we will but we're here to have some fun it's time for entertainment news right here on YTF4 TV the hashtag is YTF4 updates my name is Philin that is at Philin Jin across all socials and guess what this show is all about tea yeah tea coffee Ujimoto <laughs> We're all about hot stuff. We're talking about trending topics. We are all about celebrities. We want to know what's been happening in their lives. And this is what we want to tell you guys. What our celebrities have been up to. You can be part of the conversation. Head over to our Facebook. That is at YTF4. We are live right there. So just go comment below. And I'm going to be sampling some of your comments at the end of the show. But first things first. Meet Denise. Yo! Santeni sana for joining and thanks Philip for having me. Yeah. It's always a good time. Dark. Always. In the room. Yeah. Know you room, what <laughs> <laughs> so it's always a good time here. We have fun. Mm -hmm. Not yes. So don't go away. Stay tuned. To go up and again. That's what's of up. Of course. And guess what? Like I promised you last week, we have the whole crew today. Last week I walked with it was just me and Dennis in studio. But they missed us too much they had to be part of the show i'm talking about uh jc shout out to jc and ron they're joining us virtually from home they're working from home you know social distancing and stuff <laughs> so we can't be all in studio they're working from home we're going to be hearing from them but shout out to hafulu imboko shout out to who else yeah. junel junil biatora giovanni <laughs> MCK, MCK, shout out to MCK by the way, yes, <laughs> shout out to MCK, I love shout out to Jesse and Ronald, I want to go over to them and have them say hello and then we can get started, Ronald and Jesse, what's up? Ronald, can you hear me, Jesse? Uh, my name is Jesse Mogore, na leo ni Thursday, na udaku iko kwa wingi. So stay tuned guys, as we bring the stories that we have for you. Hey, what's up people? I go by the name Ronald Royce, or uh, you can simply call me Royce. <laughs> you guys just do the necessary, as usual, do the what you call the swash, S-W-A-S-H, sanitize wash your hands and stay at home that's how we're going to beat this disease and uh, that's what's up all right now that we are all caught up now that we know who's who let's get started with our first story now kenyan artist femi wine recently posted on her instagram a screenshot of her song utawezana featuring major having gained five million views on youtube saying that she was ready to drop another song now while some fans were quick to congratulate her some wanted to know if she was going to pay the utawezana star as yard for her contribution to the song femi noted that just Femi noted that just like thousands of other people as he had only took part in the challenge and was fortunate that it went viral which to her does not warrant financial compensation Femi say that and a quote the song was already trending on TikTok and that is why she did the challenge because she came across it hmm so <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna start with the guys at home let them weigh in i don't know i'm gonna start in the studio what do you think i'm gonna start with you dennis i think yeah, this is more real so so okay it's not as yad who asked for money yeah but some fans felt that it went viral because of her so i know that uh on youtube at least five million Femi should at least give something to us. Yeah, at least I'm don't to Kiasi, not even a lot. But, um, but, um, uh, 
Uh, actually, yeah, these are some of the comments. As, as yet, sh- okay, actually, so many fans were confused. Kila mtali kwa nasema mitu zake. Kuna wale wana support Femi Wan. Kuna wale wana support Aziad. So let's just have a look at some of the comments. Aziad should be, okay, that is Nelson. Nelson Oyu. Okay, mm. Nel, Nel Zoyuga. Anasema, Aziad should be the one to pay Femi Wan. She used Femi's original work of art to recreate, reproduce, and distribute her own yeah, without yeah, permission yeah, yeah. or accredi- accreditation. That's copyright infringement, and it's punishable if the original creator decides to take action. Really? Someone else says, going through Femi Wan versus Aziad shenanigans, one will be forgiven to think Utawazana is by both of them. <laughs> At boy child, major and you tonight are innocent by stand. <laughs> This whole Aziad versus Femi One thing doesn't add up. They both benefited from each other. Aziad blew up and Femi One's song got to stay in people's faces longer. She chose this song because it was a cool one. Alright, so many so many mixed reactions. So I'm gonna go to you. Femi One versus Aziad. Whose side are you on? We've always been fighting with Jesse about this. Yeah. Who's who's doing any but on this one, trust you me. Mm-hmm. Sijuni Guanini, mm-hmm. anytime I hear that with Arizona song, I always remember Aziad. Aziad, right? Sijuni Guanini, mm-hmm. but then for me, we don't know you. Wow. For the record, that you Wow. This kid just overtook you just like that. And I wouldn't be uh, shocked mm-hmm. to see another song coming through mm-hmm. of uh, Major or somebody doing a collab with Aziad and it's gonna hit. All right. More than Femi One. But then, she did justice, Koyo song. Mm-hmm. I'm not like talking about the, because now it's come to who's, who did it better. She did so much better. Adi venye alifanya lip sync kwa TikTok. Unaweza fikiria ni yale imba hiyo song. It is perfect. It is perfect. But then, <laughs> but, but, but it's not Femi's fault though. I think it's the fans. Because even she did another song. Hmm. Yeah, Avril. It's not even a new song. Ni ngoma ya kitambo. She did a video on her TikTok. Sang the song. Watu wa kambi Avril. Because Avril posted on her Instagram. And guys are like, Basi si pia we ulipe ude mjui ngo. Hamefanya tuka kumbuka hii song. Do you think the fans are going too far? We no, should stop. For the real case, what are now? Yo, <laughs> yo, it's a, it's a, it's a. By the way, who them? I do kill them. Say, oh, just say, I. I na juwa. I uta wezana ni anani. Ni ona dem na upe. I na indisha ya gi uno ivi. Who ondo na juwi kana? Who mungi na na dumujui? By the way, so if you, your voice was just what we use. So if you want to get anything, just get paid about the voice. The video wow. we adapted to TikTok. He's Thank so you. salty. So I'm Thank gonna you. leave him and go home. <laughs> JC, what do you have to say about this? I'm gonna start with JC yeah. on this. So, Jesse, what's up? I want to know your opinion on this one. That as the ad um, made the song popular, the Utawezana song popular. Yeah, she did. I agree to that. I know they know won't agree, mm, but I agree to that because if it were not for the TikTok video that trended, personally, I think ninge kuja kujua later, much later on. Na, I think I didn't get hit as much as it did. So, but for her getting paid, I think that's way too overboard. I think Elim's idea, Malia Lifika, she got a job, Amepata endorsements, and that is enough for her. Like, uh, with such a time, Wase, yeah, Amepata Kazi. Sister Angola and Liza Amepata Kazi. Yes, she did. Alipata job. Yeah, and it's fine. Yeah. She got endorsements, all right. She's been um, she's been like um, posting some of our brands on her page, and of course, you don't post those brands for free. You get paid for them. So I'm uh, I'm actually I don't know. I don't want to take sides. I don't want to take sides. So let's hear Ronald first. I love to do it. How are you feeling on a, a, a sad case? <laughs> it's a little bit funny, but what I what I tend to think is. Um, Femi wana silipi wode. Eh, sipoa. You know, she was trying to do, it was a challenge thing. Ini challenge ilikuwa inendelea. And uh, Femi wana song, of the Femi wana hit song, uh, Utawezana, was trending. So I don't see how uh, Zad is supposed to be paid by, by Femi wana. It doesn't make sense at all. If at all, Zad is supposed to pay Femi wana because the song was already a hit and people were trying to make a challenge of um uh Kuo and Asad, right? So it doesn't make sense to me. Uh Silipwe Wacha enda kika ukanga. Ron 
amongea kama msanii. By the way, you know he's an artist himself. Yeah, yeah when you're in Sani, so I get where he's coming from. Okay, just like I said, I don't want to take sides. <laughs> but you guys at home can. The hashtag is Y254. Updates. Comment on Facebook. We are live. I'm going to be sampling some comments and sending some love your way at the end of the show. But then for me, for, mm -hmm. me, for me, it's just trying to ride on to whatever, to gig your But yeah. it's her she's, song. She's just trying mean? to write to it. Because actually, trust you me, whoever has benefited more from this song, it's Azia. So just for me, it's just trying to make, you know, oh, you know, she did this, so it's my song. Wow. Tanda. Kila mtangi kwa nafikiria hivyo siju tungekua wapi. We're just gonna go to the next story. Now, former, <laughs> former gospel artist, Willie Paul, former. is always trending for the wrong reasons. And today, obviously, is not different. Pose posted a video on his Instagram showing off his driving skills. And Kenyans were not impressed. In the video, Pose was driving with his legs, saying that at least he can do that. But he knows that not everyone can do it. He went ahead to call out behind Hati for allegedly lying that he wrote lyrics for his music. The video has, however, been taken down due to the massive criticism it received from Pose's fans. We still have a video, so let's take a look. I can also drive with my leg. Yeah, leg over. Pose was a leg over. Hmm? At least Nelson can pick a story. He can drive pilot to me and Ujuzi ambao sio kila mtu anao bana. Najua hii video kuna wale itawauma sana watu ambao wana ujuzi. Anayemjua anaitwa nani yule? Huyu. Kanioa sana. Eh? Nasikia mtoto wa Diana. Sorry. Uhu. Bwana ya Diana. But nasikia umesema <laughs> this boy is funny, man. <laughs> okay, first of all, you all have to stop calling Bahati Mtoto wa Diana. But that's besides the point. The point is, was he, like, okay, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I don't want to take sides, but I feel like this is reckless. Like, very reckless of him driving like that. You know, driving on Miguma there. Like, why would you do that? Just to, to, to prove that you're cool? Anyway, Dennis, Mwangis. Jose, Tafadali, we know you can drive. Please stick to that. Watana na migu. Let your, stick, uh, your legs stick to the gas pedal and everything else. But stop trying some funny, funny tricks, bro. Trust you me. Doesn't end well. And the don't know Jezo. It doesn't end well. Alafu, in all of the, of your things, lazima utajataje bahati. Nse, umetuchokesha by the way. Gila time mpaka, kwanza the one thing that pisses me the most is the fact that he tries to imitate Bahati. Imefanya nini? We know that's how Bahati talks. And, wataka tufanya? Tulia. Nse, tulia. Like, okay, come down. No, shidani na kwa gagani. Oh, kina tayi Bahati. Sijui nini Bahati. For once, I feel like Pose is now trying to ride on to Bahati now. What is he doing? Okay. You are so mad today. You too, they're not on my jam. I don't know what's happening with him. Ronald, what's up? <laughs> I, I just don't know what's wrong with uh, th these two dudes. With Paul and Bahati. Nini wana kimbizana? Nini wana fuateliana maisha? Mara, with Paul wrote the song. Mara, Bahati wrote the song. I don't know how to wana taftiana nini. So I turn everybody to do his own business. With Paul Baxlid, uh, from... Uh, gospel now is doing circular and then uh, bahati i don't know whether he's now doing circular because uh, of the collabs he's done with the other people so si juini ngoma gani hiyo aliandikia wili paul yenye wili paul angeza imba ama jiandikia ama zile ngoma zenye aliandikia wili paul ni zenye uh, zenye wili paul anaimba sai which are not gospel i don't get it and then wili paul message to you manzi sisi tuogopi uh, wewe kukufa tunaogopa kuchanga maze kuchanga na tunaogopa so this reckless driving thing please stop it your life is more important than easy mangoma sawa run 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 as much tunaogopa kuchanga wewe tunaogopa kuchanga jc we run is at it again bahati Okay, I'm with Mtoto Adana. Well, <laughs> I agree to disagree. But 
I think it's getting too personal. With such a time, it's a time ya kiki, ini time ya kuupea mafans wako ngoma. Watu it's either wachangamki, mtu kama bahati ya pea watu ngoma za hope, na mtu kama pozee, apatia watu ngoma za mapenzi, and it's wow. But uh, I think that was just for controversy, and uh, well, we are here discussing it, so it succeeded. Yeah. Right. Why 254 updates is the hashtag. Get on that and let us know your opinions and comments. Told you, I'm going to be shouting you out if you stay on that hashtag now. Controversial video vixen come businesswoman Vera Sidika has been trolled for promoting charm business on her social media. Vera shared a video of herself advertising the products by her West African friend, which she claimed were good for women and that women should use them during intimacy to travel men into staying with them and buying them whatever they want including homes and cars some fans claim that the products were not genuine and that Sidika has turned into an online hawker we have a video Vera Sidika and today I'm talking to the ladies anyway I cannot wait because almost Shola's place has an amazing sale and did offering amazing discounts you definitely have to go to their website that's almost Shola's empire.com.ng and get fire yes I'm in fire like literally <laughs> like ladies if you want to get that house if you want to get into the I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, like, do you have to go to that extent to keep a man? I, I feel like if you have to use any sort of charm to keep a man, then he's not worth it. I don't know. That's just me, though. Let's hear it from Dennis. <laughs> you just need to up your game. Just up your game. You just up your game. You just up your game. And for the record, now Vera, the way you're trying to do it, you're not going to be able to get Tanzania for posts. It's the same thing. Sasa unatuambia so huyo ni wa South Africa. So to me sijui ni mimi mbana. Sijua anatuuzia nini sasa ati ati wetu. Madem wetu wakuja kwa hiyo kwa huyo dem alafu. So si wa wa buy the product alafu they they make people you know her exact way her exact words were like um he's going to take you to the bank, he's going to buy you that car, that house, you know. Kama hakununuli saa hii. Hata uende huko. Utanunulia. You should know. <laughs> Apparently feeling uh, Vera was speaking to the ladies. I don't know. I have to reserve my comments. I don't understand what she's selling because if you look at that video very well uh, from her social, uh, I mean from her Instagram page. Yani, I don't know what she's talking about. This th she's just going crazy. Because Yani, hey, Vera Amanza Kuza Vitu Yenye, they are out of this world. Miss Jis Kiki to come, yo. And uh, I think Vera in a far party way, Jobia Kuza Sasa plastics. She can do it very well. Yes, you know what I understand. You, you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's yeah? And Utapata, the business will be booming. Atauza poor son. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I can't. Like, you all understand it's quarantine, yeah? Business things are tight. Things are tight. So let anyway, JC <laughs> story is about Veracidica. What? Veracidica cast remover. That is so absurd. That is very, very absurd. That her being a socialite, there are so many people who follow her. So whatever she does, kuna chances are fifty percent of those people that follow her might do it. It's just some they do it might do it. So, and I think that is too much. But I think Saizi celebs on it after two controversy. Amba yutawafanya will remain relevant. Uh, sababu, you know there are no shows. There, there, there is nothing that is happening right now. Kwa showbiz, it's tricky. So I I tend to think maybe likuwa to controversy. Na tume discuss so well. Saizi, I think tu itakuwa to ni controversy after controversy. Kiki after kiki, kiki after kiki. And it's fine. 
wa na vera amewapasha by the way amesema she has some big news coming she said she says that the more you talk about her the more she grows so eh mimi ndeleni kumongelelea lakini mbona uenda kwa muganga kutoka Tanzania na sasa hivi uko quarantine you should know hata hata azitumiki That's not true. Hakuna <laughs> mganga wa Tanzania ko involved. He's lying about that. That's why I'm going to go to the next story. Yeah. <laughs> Now, a former TPF judge Juliana Kanyamozi has given birth after six years uh, after six years um after she lost her baby boy to asthma Juliana took to her Instagram and posted and a quote it's a boy say hello to Taj we are thrilled to God be the glory fans congratulated her and commended her for keeping her pregnancy low key some fans however are still trying to figure out who the baby's father is since she didn't even know since they didn't even know she was dating rather all right <laughs> Mangis I'm going to start with you boy child For us for us somebody I agree with Unaingia mahali unafanya hivi mpaka ushachanganya maadui wako mpaka wako zile za what happened We just woke up na akona nini na akona mtoi Let's look at what what she did to people and this is what celebrities you be doing Once you decide to get pregnant or you just get paged disappear just disappear your private life is private until you decide to make it public right so wewe na juliana mko hivi wewe una agree alifanya vizuri sana by the way and you know what I'm, what I'm actually caring about mm-hmm. is the guy involved yeah the guy what about him jui yes and it's a very good thing yeah. kama biashara yake is a businessman it will still uh, proceed whatever he's been doing haitasimama yeah. but can you imagine if angemtaja right now tungekuwa tuna troll hadi yo jamaa yeah so the jamaa life yake inge ko affected and he is not a celebrity yeah. i hope so but she is and actually what she is doing unaona hadi sura ya mtoto ameficha i hope she also keeps the baby off social media after this this was an announcement tumekubali now again rudisha uh, inaitago hibernation chini ya maji rudisha huko chini ya chini maji, maji. Yes. all right um, uh, so many celebrities actually congratulated her i'm going to read you some of them we have our uh, joy dorin bira uh, we all know her she's kenyan yeah best news on the internet today congratulations juliana kanyamozi god bless you all we have a why from tanzania he says congratulations juliana alicia's alituma zile hearts you know sending love her way uh, the dance queen so many said even zari i saw even zari um sent some some congratulate congratulatory messages so many people did even lady jd everybody was just like congratulating her and we couldn't be happier for you congratulations juliana you deserve that and so so much more well i'm not gonna go home for this story you have something to Zari should learn from her <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm not going to go to the high, the guys at home for this story. We're going to go to the next story and then uh, have them back for this one. Now, a married woman in Zambia is reportedly <coughs> reported to have died inside a Catholic priest's house after lying to her husband that she is going to a funeral. According to the report, <laughs> the priest's father Ebol Mwelwa invited his alleged married lover to the parish house on Thursday night. The woman was was a member of the Catholic Women's League from St. Maurice Catholic Church in Lusaka on the fateful day she told her husband she was meeting her fellow league members to go to a funeral Father Ebol was made to pay for the whole funeral expenses and has since been suspended and is likely to face murder charges as the family wants them wants to take the matter to court Right so I don't really know what happened all <coughs> I know is that um 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 dem not dem she's a mother of two she's a wife so she left the house akambia bwana ke anaenda matanga i'm meeting up with nika choir i'm meeting up like now say choir tunaenda matanga ni nini ni kumba nenda anaenda kwa pasi and unfortunately she died from there okay we haven't been told this that why she died what happened to the poor information but that's this story what are your thoughts about I, this it's a very okay it's very sad for yeah. somebody to die condolences to the family and i hope her soul rest in peace but history i want to go and talk my father and these are my opinions it is not news this is my opinion see your news It is not the first time and actually this reminds me of something that has been trending online what am i going to say manga zin um we endelea kumuita sleepover ile siku kitaumana uta explain now look at this this is what happens we utaita demo yenyewe kuja sleepover vitu zitendeke vitu zitatendeka anything 
actually there's a Tanzanian artist that sang about it and say like them will come to visit and come and they saw that Kurudi and die like it happens it happens let's be careful anyway um, the guys at home Ronald I'm going to start with you what's up Oh your father <laughs> Oh father yani oh 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 mama ali amwatu kudanganya zake na funeral and then it turns out to be her own funeral Yeah <laughs> it's funny how things always turn out Never lie alafu padri sasa na yeye ali amwatu kupeleka huyu dem stay to heaven eh Oh mama stay to heaven This story happened in Zambia and uh, I think ali mdanganya akamwambia eh hey, maze Uh, Lusaka imekuwa lockdown na wacha ni, niende funeral flani huku alafu nikae kae but ni kama she attended her own funeral and uh, it was unfortunate now she's dead uh, the padri has lost the job so anyway most padris will say <laughs> sex is holy and it is blessed by god but remember it's marriage not sex <laughs> Oh, a Catholic priest. Uh, amepatiwa role ya ku cater for funeral ya bibi ya mtu ambaye alikufia kwake. I think if at all ameshindwa ku maintain celibacy of which we all know that a uh, Catholic priest uh, practice celibacy. Angetoka aende uh, get married na achane na married women. Ju this is even a controversy to the church what he preaches does he really do it and then it's so wrong that the only thing yenye ameambiwa afanye ni aitikie kupatiana pesa ya funeral that is so wrong that is so wrong it is very wrong i think he would he would he should even right now quit because it will happen again ju hakuna nini ambayo amechukuliwa hakuna hati ambayo amechukuliwa so maybe it will probably happen again Actually kuna two imechukuliwa the family said um, they are suing <coughs> which is quite unfortunate but Ronald <laughs> Zimati, she attended her own funeral you know there's this thing i don't know what happens but there's a thing when you lie unajua ukidanganya nikae na kurudianga ushesema like i am not coming i'm sick and then you actually get sick i don't know what happens but it's like some way nature decides to punish us for lying no, i don't know it's making the situation true And right? Yeah, just trying to adapt to the lie. And so, pointers, stop lying. <laughs> By the way, but, but it's very true, especially d- during these quarantine times, these corona times. Just make sure someone knows where you are. Yeah, make true. sure someone knows where you are. Like um, I was it to talk a wonder like when like anything can happen. Always make sure you ha- you tell someone the truth. Hata ukidanganya wengine, jua tu kuna ule mmoja ama wawili umeambi ukweli. Yeah. Unaweza toleka quarantine na kujua. Sasa hata kusema this is person. This person over quarantine mse. You know. All right. So because of time, we're just going to have to do just one more story then um call it a night. But, but our, <coughs> all right. No. On to our last story. No. A fruit snack challenge i don't know if you guys have seen this it's making rounds on social media now it's a simple challenge where a parent sets a bowl of fruit snacks or other candy in front of their kid and tells them not to and tells them rather not to eat until they get back then we get to watch their reactions for our amusement you know we have to enjoy that now also known as the patient challenge or the candy challenge it features kids trying to resist eating a treat while their parent tests their patience parents including uh, Gabriel Union, Kylie Jenner and even Zari are sharing fruit na- fruit snack challenge videos of their young children on social media and we couldn't love it more. So we have Zari. Zari's video is actually on uh, on the on your screens. They actually passed the test. Watu wa Zari hawakukula by the way. Walingoja hadi mama yake arudi akamwambia sasa kuleni. But mtoto wa Gabriel Union, you guys should watch that. That was so funny. Before hata mama yake afike mali anaenda alikuwa shaanza kukula. Yeah. I think this challenge is affected to Nyeri and mm-hmm. it should, should not be given that name again. Mm-hmm. Itakuwa the sleepers of the fight challenge. Imekuwa <laughs> imekuwa it's been real. Unaatiago kitu angalia. Bado na jo nikoambia ngoje growing up niaje nimeacha githeri kwa jiko nimeenda shamba. Nikirudi nipate githeri imeiva. So you know uko unaenda hivi unarudi unasema eh wacha nikaangalie githeri kai mei unaangalia unajua lazima uume. Manzi by the time lunch inafika hakuna githeri. Na kwa mimi nitaendelea kwa hiyo. 
Ila vita itangu kwa huko. Sasa Africans have been practicing this challenge <laughs> forever. <laughs> it's not new. It's been there. Our patients has been tested and you know. Nika huko wino. Alright. So, so um your last remarks because right. of time I have to tena kwa kina JC. So your, your last remarks. I go by the name Darius Bob Maina and uh, across all social media platforms and my saying to you people is just stay safe. At this point as the government has said yeah. we might live with this thing. We might be staying with this thing for longer so manze to adapt mm -hmm. to keep space tuoge mikono hata ikibidi uogage every hour it's okay but just do something mm -hmm. extra because at this point we might be told now it's our obligation right Tafika. it's your personal responsibility so you have to take care of yourself because your life you know do it as if your life depends on it. No, this one literally, your life depends on it. You have to take care of yourself and your loved one. Make sure you wash your hands as many times as possible. Avoid, avoid touching your face just so that we kick this coronavirus out of our country. Now, shout out to Ronald Royce. That is his social media. Shout out to JC Mogure. That's her social media as well. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Because of time, we can't come to you. But, like I promised, I have to shout out a few guys right here. I have Jumba Star Jones and asama following Travi King and Travis and asama tuned in Nikiwa Dago Brian Junior and asama big up to Deno. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. MCO GKE and asama manze Deno wacha kubonga chaf. <laughs> support artists yeah i love how manuki botch uh congrats juliana busia boy shout out to you um all right maurice jacob makoha shout out to you from kakamega hrh janet michaels was my tuned in loving the conversation thank you so much vanto steve hi shout out to you uh patrick patrick nixon mc pato shout out to you jelly's inca linky at the river shout out to you bro junior shout out to you um all right so many of you but time 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 unfortunately i have to go one word yes allow me to just shout out my my uh, former classmate actually desk meter it was jones phil jones manze he's been watching every day phil so, jones, phil jones yeah. much respect to you now shout out to everybody who made the shop with but maurice right here in studio kwa camera thank you so much frank palek what you see thank you rose thank you so much and sound timo our director thank you so much Keep telling you guys, it takes a village. And each and every one of you guys for watching the show. It's been fun. We're going to do this again next week. Shout out to everybody who made the show possible. And uh, we're going to see you next week. Hashtag Y254 updates at Philin June is where you find me across all social media. See you then. Keep washing your hands and sanitize. And of course, like I told you at the beginning of the show, we shall overcome. Hello, Kenyans.